Over the past few weeks, we've been, well, taking a look at the 11 semifinalists announced for this year's IDEA WF competition. Yeah, today we're going to wrap things up with our very last semifinalist. Curtis Jackson shows us how one woman is looking to rake in the cash with her modern spin on quilting. My daughter now says my, it's not just my passion, it's my obsession. Meet Bobby Collins, the woman who has been quilting just about her entire life. It's relaxing, and they've even had studies that talk about needle art and sewing. Once you learn what you're doing so you don't frustrate yourself, can be very uh, good to lower blood pressure and relax. Collins says since the pandemic, she's noticed several small businesses struggling to stay afloat, including some local quilt shops, and that's when she realized she could help. With my passion for quilting and knowing that most quilt shops are actually small mom and pop type operations, um, we wanted to find a way to help them to not only uh, survive, but thrive in the economy as we go forward. Collins came up with the idea to hold material in bulk for quilt shops that may not have the space or funds to purchase large rolls of fabric. Instead, Collins would supply the store with a sample of several fabrics and small sheets, opening up more space for small shops while helping to save money. We want the customer to be connected to the quilt shop always. So the return label on that package will be from the quilt shop. And any marketing materials we include will be labeled for the quilt shop. And that will keep that customer loyalty. Collins believes that the demand for her idea is high enough, making her confident in this year's competition. We're new to the industry to bring them the opportunity to buy only what they need. We're servicing not just customers in Wichita Falls, but also customers across the United States. And so that brings a lot of money into the community. We'll find out if Collins has what it takes when the winners are announced in October. Curtis Jackson, KFDX 3 News. There are some very creative people in Wichita Falls. Uh, for they, sure. I mean, that is just blows me away. Those quilts, it's like a, a work of art. Uh -huh. You know, she says it's relaxing, but how gratifying it would be, too, to right. make that quilt. And what a great idea. Yeah, they've got their work cut out for them trying to just decide this winner. Right. Well, you can find the stories on all of the 11 semifinalists on TexomasHomePage.com. And, of course, we want to wish all of those who are participating in the contest the best of luck.